The Road to the Cup is brought to you by West Island and Il Perot Cadillac Chevrolet Buick GMC. Two locations to serve you better. 600 vehicles in stock open seven days a week. Get your car your way. This was a fun night wearing the appropriate colors, of course, and uh, watching the game, and it was a good one. They couldn't Game hope two. for any more at this point. The Montreal Canadiens hoping to head home from Tampa Bay with back-to-back -back wins over the Lightning in their first round playoff series matchup. Ending an 0-for-25 power play slump would certainly help put them on the right track. Action starts in the second. Halves with the extra man. P.K. Subban shot from the point. David Deharnay tips it in, and just like that, the power play slump is over. Under 10 to go, Rene Bork all by himself, outskates basically everyone, sneaks it past Anders Lindback, Habs by two. Lightning with a chance, Teddy Purcell gets a shot off, but Carey Price is there, and then Price denies Cedric Paquette, one of his 26 saves on the night. Third period, Brendan Gallagher breaks up the play. His first shot is blocked by Matthew Carl. Connects with the second, though. He scores, puts the heads up by three at this point. Just over five minutes to play. Bork again, first shot stop, wraps around, finds the back of the net, makes it 4 nothing Montreal. Lightning not giving up quite yet. Empty net, Valtteri Filpula to Victor Hedman. Purcell snipes it, ending Montreal's shutout hopes. But that's as close as they get. Montreal winning the game. Two with a score of four to one. Brian Wild joins us live now from Tampa Bay. And Brian, two wins uh, back to back, heading home for game three. Not a bad start. <laughs> you know, I, I try to find a number of fans that, or media, or NHL executives, or anyone who thought any of this was possible that the Canadians would walk into Tampa Bay and win two games. Thank you, Francois. Thanks a lot. Let's all head back to the Bell Center for Sunday night at 7 o'clock to see if the Canadians put a stranglehold on this, Chantal. Thanks, guys. The last time the Detroit Red Wings and the Boston Bruins met in the postseason was 1957. Until now, the Red Wings entered the playoffs for a 23rd straight year, but barely made it in this time around. The President Trophy winning Bruins, on the other hand, cruised to a first place finish. And game one turns out to be a defensive showdown. No score early in the third. Darren Helm can't get it past Tuka Rask, who had 23 saves on the night. Three and a half minutes to go. Jerome Ginla gets a shot off. Milan Lucic tips it through the five hole, but just goes wide. Jimmy Howard with 25 saves tonight. Just seconds later, Pavel Datsuk takes it in. His wrist shot goes top corner. His 37th career playoff goal. And Detroit wins game one, one nothing. And in the Anaheim Dallas series, the Ducks cut a break in getting Captain Ryan Getzlaff back in the lineup tonight after he took a puck to the face in game one. Bobby Ryan scored to make it 2 1 Anaheim after two. The Ducks lead the series 1 0. We're going to take a break. When we come back, Chicago Blackhawks coach Joel Quenville gets a hefty fine for his actions in game one against the St. Louis Blues. Details after this. The pockets of Chicago Blackhawks head coach Joel Quenville are a little bit lighter today after he received a $25,000 fine from the league. The NHL issued the fine for inappropriate conduct during last night's Game 1 loss to the St. Louis Blues. Quenville argued for a delay of game penalty, gesturing that the puck went over the glass. Then did his best Michael Jackson impression by grabbing his groin and yelling at the officials. He can't do that. One would expect a much quieter Quenville for Game 2 tomorrow afternoon. Disappointed uh, the call, but uh, you know I'm not. Uh, I'm, I apologize for my behavior. It wasn't uh, very appropriate at all. So, um, it was a bush leg move on my part. And from the hockey rink to the baseball park, these are the best of the plays of the week. Is uh, doing some pretty good work for him right here. Good slap foul. Well, Miller being a, a pesky type hitter. Oh, what a catch by Brian Dozier. Here's Jean is going to have to play it. Take it away by Short. Quick shot to the net. Open net. Oh, and Crawford go the front and made a terrific save. Out to center, Bacchus to the line, drops it, quick shot, deflects to the net, Crawford, 
Bouncing ball to third. Solange steps on third, throws a second one on the first. It's a triple play. Jan Irvin Solarte starts a triple play. Qui remet derrière le filet. Et là encore, Brière. Oh, il a tiré, il a mis Luis qui tire. Le Canadien l'emporte. Et le quatrième trio. Vient de donner un cadeau inés inespéré. And although Marc Bergevin's dance could have been another play of the day, uh, tonight's play is courtesy of Rennie Bourque, whose second period goal against Tampa helped break that power play slump that saw Montreal go 0 for 25 with the extra man in the past nine games, 0 for 16 against the Lightning. Habs fans, breathe a sigh of relief. It's over. Thank you very much, Sal. We'll be right back.